No matter what the feds or the papers might have said about my car bombing, it was amateur night, you could tell. Whoever it was, they put the dynamite under the passenger side. But what they didn't know, what nobody outside the factory knew, was that that model car was made with a metal plate under the driver's seat. It's the only thing that saved my life. Bombing was never authorized, but I suspect I know who lit the fuse. Hey, Dickie. And so did the powers that be. How you doing? It took months for everything to calm down. But finally, my guys got out on bail, and the bosses wanted me to send my brother Dominic out to Vegas. Always the dollars. Always the fucking dollars. I mean, it was still way too hot for me to even go near Vegas. So I set up a meeting with the guys way out in the sticks. I didn't want my brother to get fucked around. I mean, what's right is right. They don't give a fuck about... Ah! You got that, You motherfucker! You rebel! Tough guy! You and your fucking brother! You fucking scumbag! No more! Still breathing. Still breathing. Leave him alone. Frankie! Hi. Ship him. No balls. There's no fucking ball. Ah, Dominic. Ah, Dominic. Stop it, man. Stop it, man. Stop it, man. The word was out. The bosses had enough for Nikki. They had enough. How much were they going to take? So they made an example of him and his brother. They buried them while they were still breathing. <laughs> 